you think we'll ever have a gay rapper? I believe there are some gay rappers. Are they? Just ain't came out the closet. Oh, all the champagne was spiked, son. Like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off. Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like, I smoke and I had my own weed, but, like, everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Snoop Dogg has just exposed the list of all the big names who faced Diddy's shady behavior. Lately, there has been considerable focus on how celebrity rappers are reacting to mentions of Diddy's purported involvement in certain controversies. Snoop Dogg has illuminated the murky discussions surrounding these gatherings, offering insights into what purportedly unfolds at these events. I believe there are some gay rappers that just ain't came out the closet. Well, then, then we don't know that they're gay. Do exactly. you think, if you think a, rap, a big rap would have to be a big star to come out? Well, Frank Ocean came out as an R&B singer, you know, and he was big, he was on the incline, and, you know, a lot of people accepted him and appreciated him for being, you know, a stand-up guy to say that he was. According to Snoop Dogg, the gatherings orchestrated by Diddy are not just as rumored, but potentially surpass even the wildest speculations. Snoop characterized them as peculiar club-like settings, where explicit activities involving men are said to occur, with the least offensive behaviors among the reported incidents. Furthermore, Snoop Dogg subtly suggested Diddy's regular involvement in and speculated move towards orchestrating comparable gatherings, a shift that unsettles Snoop. Adding to the uproar are claims of improper interactions with underage individuals directly associated with Diddy. These accusations garnered more attention when Diddy unintentionally revealed an alleged incident involving Usher when the latter was merely 10 years old, undermining Diddy's trustworthiness and standing. Any counsel offered is met with a resounding refusal. Because I'm seeing him go from his independence to then becoming Puff Daddy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I got a front row seat looking at that. Right. And this was our training. Like, it was like boot camp. Right. Singing wasn't yeah. just like, oh, we gonna get out here and just jam and sing the girls. Right. Nah, you gotta like, he was like putting us through straight right. boot camp. Usher's evident unease around Diddy is just a glimpse of the discomfort many feel in his presence. Numerous encounters with Diddy have left others feeling out of sorts and uneasy. I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls. Was Biggie there. Smalls was there, Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Moreover, Snoop Dogg seems determined to uncover what he views as hidden truths within the Hollywood music scene. He implies that many artists have kept their orientation under wraps out of fear of not being accepted. This points to a larger issue of LGBTQ plus representation and acceptance in the industry, suggesting that some individuals feel pressured to conceal their true identities in order to advance their careers or avoid criticism. He's not alone. More and more celebrity rappers and music artists are stepping forward with similar stories. Exhibit, for instance, recently recounted an uncomfortable incident at a New Year's party in Miami while in Diddy's company. His account sheds light on the allure of these gatherings. As Exhibit described, they entered a VIP lounge where Diddy was occupied and the club was lively. Amidst the music, Exhibit observed some unexpected interactions, emphasizing the intriguing nature of such events. Speaking of the club, right, I heard you tell a story before about how Puffy, he took you to a club before and you seen a whole lot of men kissing <laughs> and you seen a whole lot of weird stuff going on. You know, you seen a whole lot of gay stuff going on. If you don't mind, man, what's the backstory behind that? <laughs> Man, 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 I ain't gonna touch that shit, man. Fuck that shit. It was clear that such a bold assertion wouldn't go unchallenged. Consequently, Zibit found himself pressed in yet another interview to address his earlier remark. While he didn't explicitly reaffirm or deny history, his silence spoke volumes. For those seeking further clarity, Exhibit's trademark confident chuckle seemed to say, I have all the answers, and deep down, you know I'm right. 
Does this imply that their actions have indeed spoken louder than their words? The supposed debacle at this entire party reportedly implicates well-known music artists, including Diddy. Some of them were exposed during a lawsuit last year, wherein Diddy faced significant legal challenges, particularly from Cassie, alleging misconduct. Though those issues were promptly settled, the situation has now intensified. Stevie J, Young Miami, and Nicki Minaj have added fresh allegations to the mix. Intriguingly, Meek Mill and Usher may also have ties to the situation, albeit not explicitly mentioned. We also recently saw a leaked video of Mill and Diddy. Because I was like, this nigga Diddy rich. So I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and get me a couple dollars and just say, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody believed that that was really Diddy beating Meek back in. But now, now y'all motherfuckers believe the video, right? Right? Somebody throw me a couple dollars. Fans have meticulously connected dots from the lawsuit, hinting at their potential involvement. The inquiry into these allegations lacks secrecy, as details from the lawsuit strongly suggest the identities of those targeted. Allegedly, Diddy has been implicated alongside two notable figures, including Stevie J references in the lawsuit, allude to individuals such as the Philadelphia rapper who was romantically linked with Nicki Minaj and the Super Bowl performer with a residency in Vegas, speculated by the public to be Meek Mill and Usher respectively. This unexpected legal ordeal began when Rodney Lil Rod Jones made grave accusations of misconduct against Sean Diddy Combs. But I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah, daddy. Like when, when, I, when, when he started all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling like, yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all this shit. The scenario took a dramatic turn when prominent personalities such as Meek Mill and Chris Brown became embroiled in an unexpected legal tangle. The lawsuit, officially lodged on February 26, but largely dismissed as fictitious, revolves around Rodney Lil Rod Jones' accusations against Diddy. Notably, it implicates well-known figures like Meek Mill and Chris Brown, spanning a period from September 2022 to November 2023. Within the lawsuit, a convoluted narrative unfolds, weaving together connections and allegations of misconduct. Jones's legal maneuver has sparked a flurry of weighty allegations against Diddy, hinting at undisclosed interactions with Meek Mill, subtly insinuating the latter's complicity. These accusations reignite old speculations about the relationship between Diddy and Meek Mill, which Diddy has vehemently refuted in the past. The situation gains complexity with Chris Brown entering the fray, alluding to his tumultuous history with Rihanna and implying connections with emerging artists and industry insiders. With a staggering demand for $30 million in restitution, the legal skirmish unfolds, revealing a troubling narrative of misconduct within Diddy's inner circle. We should talk about this P. Diddy situation. Sean Combs, rapper, mogul, and accused monster. And now today, we've got yet another lawsuit. Though this one coming from Rodney Jones, a producer who worked on Combs' latest album, with Jones on Monday suing Combs in federal court for $30 million, and accusing Combs of sexually harassing, assaulting, drugging, and threatening him for over a year. As word of the lawsuit spreads throughout the music world, both industry insiders and fans are holding their breath, eagerly awaiting the unfolding drama of this legal saga. Diddy's legal team has come out swinging, vehemently denying the allegations, marking the beginning of what could potentially become a protracted courtroom battle. The implications of these accusations loom large, with the power to stain the careers and reputations of all parties involved. The situation took a darker twist when a cousin of Young Miami, purportedly employed as an assistant to Diddy, became entangled. According to Lil Rod, she was involved in non-consensual intercourse with him in a Miami bathroom on November 23, 2022, as outlined in court records. This harrowing ordeal has left Lil Rod deeply disturbed. Young Miami, known for her affiliation with Diddy's former girlfriend, now finds herself embroiled in legal proceedings. Rod alleges that she played a part in the altercation, claiming Diddy's involvement. Court documents suggest that young Miami's cousin made unwelcome advances toward Lil Rod in the presence of Diddy and his entourage. According to the legal papers, Diddy, allegedly under the influence, offered a substance to Jones, who declined and went to the restroom. While there, young Miami's cousin reportedly barged in and initiated unwanted advances toward Jones. He firmly believes that Diddy instructed her to do so. Upon her entrance, she immediately engaged in inappropriate behavior towards Jones. Reacting swiftly, Jones pushed her away and left the restroom. 
So I tried to tell y'all that it was eventually going to come out with regards to young Miami and her involvement in these freak offs. Now in the new lawsuit, young Miami is tied to Ditty. Yes. In the extensive 70 page legal document filed by Jones, it is asserted that Combs intended to coerce him into entering a high stakes relationship, masquerading it as a common industry practice within the music industry. Jones, represented by attorney Tyrone Blackburn, also alleges the existence of a RICO enterprise that consistently failed to adequately supervise Combs, purportedly orchestrated by influential figures in the music business. During his tenure under Diddy, Jones encountered a plethora of experiences extending beyond his duties as a producer for the Love Album. Detailed in the extensively illustrated suit, it is alleged that Diddy required constant recording by Jones. The documentation asserts that Jones has amassed hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings portraying Diddy, his staff, and guests engaging in serious illegal activities. Moreover, Diddy's son Justin has also been named in the lawsuit. And if this matter could get any better, Diddy Dunn included his own son. So not only is he being sued for S.A., y'all know what S.A. mean? His son is being sued as well. In response to the recent allegations outlined in the misconduct claim against Combs, attorney Sean Holly released a widely circulated statement dismissing the accusations as baseless. Holly branded the claimant as nothing more than a fabricator seeking an exorbitant payday through a $30 million lawsuit. Asserting his client's innocence, Holly condemned the alleged fabrications as mere attempts to generate sensational headlines. He further stated that the purported events described were purely fictional and devoid of truth, promising to present compelling evidence to refute the claims in court. Holly concluded by affirming his intention to pursue appropriate legal action against those responsible for making false allegations. Justin Combs has vehemently rejected the accusations, asserting them as baseless falsehoods. A spokesperson representing both Justin and his father made it unequivocally clear to the deadline that these allegations hold no truth. They labeled the claims as absurd and emphasized that they were merely desperate attempts by someone seeking monetary gain. Legal repercussions are promised for any defamatory remarks targeting the Combs family. The legal saga intensifies as Lil Rod persists in alleging that Diddy boasted about intimate encounters with prominent individuals, including Stevie J, a notable figure in music production. Now y'all, 2024 is continually exposing and giving. Now Stevie J is now tied to Diddy and a new lawsuit and a videotape release with him and some dude. Diddy disclosed to Jones that he had shared close moments with a well-known rapper, an R&B sensation, and Stevie J, according to the lawsuit. The court documents cleverly veil the identities of these prominent figures in the entertainment realm, leaving behind only tantalizing hints. One of them, referred to as the rapper, has a past romantic involvement with Nicki Minaj, while the other, known as the R&B singer, has graced the stages of the Super Bowl and secured a lucrative residency in Las Vegas. It's worth noting that Meek Mill's relationship with Minaj came to an end in 2017 after two years, as revealed in a public announcement. Usher, who made headlines with his Las Vegas residency announcement last year, took center stage at Super Bowl 58 on February 11th. These occurrences have sparked rumors linking certain celebrities to a lawsuit. Notably, back in 2017, Meek Mill confirmed the end of his two-year relationship with Minaj. The coincidence of Usher's Vegas residency and Super Bowl performance has fueled speculation about the lawsuit's targets. Meek Mill vehemently denies any involvement with Diddy, countering recent social media rumors. He has even engaged in a heated Twitter exchange with DJ Academics over the matter. Was Diddy the inspiration for dreams and nightmares? Yeah. <laughs> and did he give you dreams or nightmares? We cup like this, you gotta make it hit your stomach, but it ain't a belly flop. Make it sound like thunder. Boom! Don't answer if you don't want to. Despite ongoing speculation, fans are uncovering new evidence regarding Nicki Minaj's past remarks about the industry. 
In a rediscovered clip from an old live stream, Minaj questioned Solia Boy about the presence of undercover brothers in the music industry, hinting at a deeper understanding. This has led to speculation that Minaj might have had prior knowledge of alleged relationships. Solia Boy's reaction to Minaj's comment has raised suspicions among some users, suggesting he too might have been privy to insider information. Academics have also weighed in on the situation, expressing astonishment at the possibility of Meek Mill's involvement with a music mogul. They have called upon Mill to address the lawsuit and clear his name if the allegations are false. Academics went as far as to challenge Mill, stating, Meek, we've seen you vocal about everything under the sun, but if you're innocent you need to speak up. Otherwise, the silence speaks volumes. This demand for transparency highlights the seriousness of the allegations and the need for clarity in the midst of speculation. It did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. The conversation ended abruptly with accusations flying. The Philly native responded to the academics, dodging the question of whether the allegations were true. Instead, he redirected attention to his recent music release, claiming that detractors were trying to distract from his artistry. He said, It's crazy how they're twisting things. Can't wait to see academics face to face. They know I've got something dropping tomorrow. His frustration with online gossip was palpable as he fired off more tweets aimed at the internet personality. Despite his evident displeasure with the situation, Meek didn't address why his name was mentioned in the documents. Five, he's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo, Meek, we were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit, but if you don't, you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant, Saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. Amidst the growing controversy, another internet personality, Andrew Tate, jumped into the fray with a pointed inquiry regarding the alleged intimate relationships between Meek Mill, Usher, and Diddy. Tate questioned whether Diddy had been involved in such relations with Meek Mill and Usher. In response, Meek Mill swiftly retaliated, referencing Tate's infamous 2023 scandal which led to charges. Were you involved in those incidents? What's wrong with you? Meek retorted. I only ask because everyone is talking about it, Tate defended. However, Meek Mill remained silent thereafter, prompting speculation. Many have since suggested that if Diddy indeed had any involvement in such activities, there might be leaked photos and videos from his parties. Reportedly, this topic has stirred discussions among many. Meek Mill made reference to Tate's charges in Romania, where he was accused of orchestrating an organized crime group aimed at exploiting women. Tate vehemently denied these accusations over the past few months. However, we then saw another leaked video of Diddy and Meek Mill. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Meanwhile, a slew of legal actions has been initiated against Combs, notably a lawsuit filed by his ex-girlfriend, the singer Cassie. In her lawsuit, Cassie depicted her relationship with Combs as a relentless cycle of violence and substance use. The legal document further alleges that Combs drew her into a flashy, fast-paced lifestyle filled with substances, coerced intimate encounters with other men, as well as threats and physical harm. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of beating and sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend and singer Cassie. She filed a lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal courts. Despite the gravity of the allegations, Cassie's lawsuit was swiftly resolved just a day after its filing in November. Throughout the legal proceedings, Combs adamantly refuted all claims made against him. Attorney Ben Braffman reiterated this position in a statement to Newsweek, firmly rejecting the offensive and shocking allegations made against Diddy. These allegations, discussed in Cassie's lawsuit, include claims that Diddy coerced her into participating in intimate activities with several male escorts while he watched, filmed, and recorded the incidents. The legal filing describes these alleged encounters as freak-offs, 
asserting that they occurred in various hotel suites, including one at the Trump International Hotel in New York City. One of the most serious accusations is that Diddy was directly involved in intimate activities with Cassie, directing her to engage with male escorts while he observed for his own pleasure. The lawsuit alleges that she was instructed to use oil and partake in intimate acts with multiple men, sometimes while wearing masks and costumes. Another uh, thing, in the, another allegation is that she says that Diddy several times at different hotels around the country would hire male prostitutes and force her to have sex with them. In her legal claim, Cassie alleged that during an altercation in March 2016, Diddy, who was reportedly intoxicated, struck her in the face, resulting in a black eye. She maintained that she attempted to leave the hotel room while he was asleep, but upon awakening he began shouting at her. Allegedly, he then grabbed her and hurled glass vases from the hallway, causing them to shatter around them. As she fled to the elevator in an effort to escape, she encountered further distress. Although she ultimately made it to her apartment, her fear of his escalating anger drove her to return. Hotel security personnel, having witnessed security footage depicting Diddy's actions, purportedly advised her to take a taxi to her apartment. These details were outlined in the lawsuit. Cassie made additional claims, asserting that Diddy had dispersed $50,000 to the hotel staff in exchange for security footage from the same evening. The legal complaint also recounted an episode in 2013 in which Diddy purportedly orchestrated another extravagant event, resulting in tens of thousands of dollars in damages to the hotel. According to Cassie's account, she was assigned the responsibility of arranging the venue and recruiting male participants for intimate engagements during these gatherings. Allegedly, she was directed to seek out individuals with particular attributes through online platforms and escort services. This is the part of the suit where she's alleging sex trafficking because she's saying that this would happen over state lines uh, and that's that would be the reason for filing this in federal court. The legal complaint asserts that Diddy regularly insisted on weekly encounters, repeatedly referring to them as our thing and our secret. Cassie alleges that these encounters, dubbed freak-offs, often occurred in hotel suites, including those at the Trump International Hotel in Columbus Circle, Litz Beverly Hills, the London Hotel in Los Angeles, and various intercontinental hotels across the country. Allegedly, Diddy's assistants facilitated these encounters by providing baby oil and lubricant. Diddy purportedly supplied Cassie and others involved with copious amounts of drugs, both before and during the encounters. Cassie claims she was given excessive doses of substances during these encounters, leading her to disassociate from the horrific experiences. Um, those are the most serious allegations in there. There are also some allegations of uh, just domestic violence, um, uh, domestic battery. It became routine for her to receive fluids in the days following a photo shoot to recover from the excessive substances pushed upon her. She alleged that Diddy would request her to douse herself in copious amounts of oil before instructing her and the crew on what to do. The storyline took an unexpected turn when 50 Cent raised suspicions by emphasizing apparent gaps in Cassie's lawsuit, notably the lack of specifics regarding Diddy's involvement with other individuals in his intimate encounters. Though it remains uncertain if Cassie's experiences coincided with Diddy's interactions with other artists, 50 Cent seized the opportunity to inject more information into the narrative. In doing so, he not only disclosed further details but also implicated others. He even talked about the Meek Mill drama. Those are punks. Like, those are punks. Meek Mills, when I ran into him finally, he said, Yo, come here, let me talk to you. I need to talk to you like a man on the side, put me to the side. And he was talking, and I was looking at him, and I wanted to punch him. Stuff that he said, I wanted to punch him. Overall, the recent allegations and controversies surrounding Diddy have sent shockwaves throughout the music industry. With high-profile celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Xibit, and Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend Meek Mill stepping forward with their own accounts and connections to the unfolding drama, the situation has escalated into a complex legal battle. While Diddy and his legal team vehemently deny all allegations, the detailed accounts presented by the accusers, such as Lil Rod and Cassie, have painted a troubling picture of Diddy's alleged involvement in inappropriate and coercive activities. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.